Do not be afraid. God is able. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to men. January 1918, the Spanish flu, a stain of an influenza, caused a pandemic spreading rapidly and killing indiscriminately young, old, sick, and healthy people. Almost 10% of people infected died for a period of two years. Most of the time, this happens when God's anger is manifested. It has happened before and here we are again. Nothing is new that was not created. Think about the story of Egypt for not letting the Israelites go. In this difficult time, God is commanding us to be strong and courageous, to not be frightened by any of this. For the Lord our God is with us wherever and whenever we call upon Him. This is a time to cry out loud. Cry out loud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people the transgressions, to the house of Jacob their sins. What is God asking you right now? What is the government asking you to do right now? For us to have peace, we need to realize that we have sinned against God and His anger is being manifested upon us. We do not listen until we wish we had done something. What are you doing to help stop this virus? You have oppressed the innocent, shedded the blood of innocent people. You have denied their rights, exploited their resources. You have marginalized many for your own profit. In response to what Pharaoh did to the Israelites, God imposed a tame plague that lasted all season and killed many. This is going to take some time, trust me. Are you ready? God had warned Moses that it would come about only through God's supreme power to overcome the plan of the pharaohs. It's the same supreme power that will help us overcome this virus. God demonstrates his power in different ways that we cannot understand. Let us understand that God is not happy with us. He's not happy with what we are doing. How many souls have lost because of you? Are you doing the right thing? See, God had told us that all is vanity. He's the giver and the taker. He will harvest at any time he wants. In Matthew 7, 19, the Bible says, every tree that does not bear fruit will be cut down and thrown into fire. Don't be that tree. Do your part. Reverse your wicked plans and ask God to forgive you, lest we all perish. This is the time to come together as one in prayer to cry for help. You are being asked to stay home. Do so and pray for the nurses and doctors who are putting their life in danger to save us. You can choose to worry, but it's not going to change anything. We are all affected by this. But remember, God has a promise. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. God is our refuge and our strength, a comforter in a moment of trouble and distress. His name is strong, his right, and his ways are always safe. The broader way of envy that has brought us into this and the hatred that we keep in our heart will always bring us trouble. Very often, we have a hard time taking God at His word. If God says it, that settles it. And there's absolutely no reason to doubt it. This is what you should know. Things usually get worse before they get better. We will overcome this period by the power of the Most High. We have seen a lot. We've heard a lot prophet exchanging lies on WhatsApp and scaring people by the end of the world that they can't justify. But what does the Bible say? Revelation 16, 15 says, Behold, I'm coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked and be exposed. In Matthew 24, 43, it says, But know this, if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. 
This is God's own word. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Finally, brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full arm of God so that you can take your stand against the evil schemes. May God bless you and keep you safe during this period. Thank you.